Hello and welcome. Another week of me playing my backlog of games. Um, this week we have Anodyne, Anomaly 2, and Astro Tripper. I think Astro Tripper is the same devs as um, Alien Zombie Megadeth from last week. Anodyne is a. So RPG like Zelda um, looks good. Um, Anomaly is one of those tower defense type of games, and um, last one is uh, this one, last one. which um, not sure what it is. So I'm um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go in the order that's right on the bottom here. Uh, so let's start with Anodyne. See the um, flickering thing. Bottom thing. Right thing. Right. See to interact with objects. Item. Sage, the village of
Weapon. Here. Something wrong with the way this game loads, because, um, like I see my steam over my bottom right there, just stuck. James is bike. How the hell did he came here before me? Hello. 
Butter Flapjack. Dude, man, guy. How's it going? Ouch. So your friends were enjoying the game? Have you ever played this game? That's pretty good. So you were actually you you actually have s seven friends that started it. And this plays like um like those classic Zeldas. Like the original Zelda. A seven that we just start. <laughs> nice. The the um the evolved one? The the one in um the, the triple trouble one? Say, that's what I have. Hello, dear. So good. <laughs> Those bad puns. Those bad puns. So, I don't get it. So I killed this one, but then the other one respawned, right? If I come back up here, it's not there anymore.
Oh no. <laughs> Save. I'm full out as I don't here. Take two. No! Oh, and I still forgot to that save but again. There we go. We'll be with you, young. You are advice on But what I want is a side. Like the key that I got, is that like a master key?
Bear. Yes. Yes, I can't open that door yet. It as quick. It used to be super quick. Back down here. It's fun. I haven't done it in a while. I, I think there's still like guilds that do it uh, on a daily basis. I think they call it the Evolve Jungle. They both have um, like unique skins yet that can drop. But they are pretty rare though. Yeah, I've been doing this um, for five weeks now, um, playing through my like 500 games in my backlog. I usually play um, three of them a night, or three hours. Is pretty. I lost my cat. Back, Mr. Cat.
Yeah, so... I'm still not completing games, I'm just playing an hour of each, usually. Just to say that I've played them, because I had so many that I had, like, never touched. That spot wasn't safe for him. The girl from early. No, it's just retro graphics. Um, this game is from. Uh, let me take a quick. This game dates from 2013. There's something like the capturing software or like the emulator fucks up my capturing software. As you can see like Steam overlay is just there. If I open my overlay and cancel it, then I see the Steam background. But yeah, I actually think it's running in a emulator of some sort. have the orange key. Let's see if I can bring that cat to the... I think that was a dog actually. Let me 
through cat. Thank you. Another cat. I guess I should be close to another dungeon. This game is actually on mobile too. I actually do think I've played it on right. Is what's filthy. Uh, yeah, this game is on uh, Android also. And yeah, that daily list is just it's unreal, like you said. I guess daily gives something to do for everyone. I mean the the only doing your like the three dailies is probably a good idea because it's a free two gold, right? But um Other than that, like just the other daily stuff that you can do, like um, the champions and like the, the bosses and all those shit. I mean, it's not that they're a good a good source of income, but unless you enjoy it, there's no real point in doing it. Yeah, I would actually recommend doing um, like Bloodstone Fen and Ember Bay and uh, the one in the frozen area for the berries, because they are cheap and easy ascended to get, right?
West Land Lake, South and East. Yeah, Tempest is so powerful. Especially on large it box like with stuff like meteor and meteor shower just same damage. Even like the overloads are crazy. So lost. Yeah, I'll join. As long as it's not today. I'm streaming. Jump. Back where I here.
Oh no. I keep it. savings. Still don't get what these are. So. Come screw. I can't open.
I can bring the dust with me. Damn. Screw me. God damn. So what are your friends playing, dude man? Like what class did they try or start with? And did you create a new character yourself? Rangers and the Necro. Warriors are fun. Bye. 
Um, I played Warrior a bit in PvP, and um, I think that's the only only other class that I've actually like played a bit. I mean, I have like I have mo a character of most class. Oh no, I did play. Uh, I I do have a druid, and I have a guardian, which like both of them I did. Um, world exploration with them when I did my events. I find that Ellie has like the most diversity, in my opinion. Can do pretty much everything and everything well too. Fucking NPC move. Yeah, and with, with uh, Weaver, it's gonna be just insane that, like, you'll have to plan how you switch attunement to, like, get these certain skills that you want. Ouch. will probably fall on the platform I saw earlier. I want to go there. Let's see. Oh, not true. But 
Uh, the like the only way they are nerfing, like you're right that they they're unnerfable just because of some of their mechanics, and uh, like to fix that, I guess they like quickness or yeah quickness they gave it to more classes than this Ellie's or not Ellie but um, mesmers that could give it to everyone. God damn it. What? It just pushed me. Alright, it's been an hour. This game, Switch games. Next up, we have this game, Anomaly 2. Played, uh, I've, I've never played this one, but I know I've played the other ones. Like some high grade military shit. Today might be our lucky day. Get out of there, you fools. We got two civilians in the hot zone. Pretty sweet cinematic. Becca Godzilla Morph.
Convoy Yukon reporting, sir. Next stop, the Big Apple. Over and out. This is supposed to be like a tower defense. If I remember right, the Anomaly series is the opposite of the tower defense. You are the wave. I'm gonna lower the volume a bit. But it is. Alright. just an illusion. They hit us again in 2021, multiplying like metal cockroaches. They covered the planet. We didn't stand just a chance. Just far off, 2021. Four years. The last hope for humanity's survival was a weapon developed by Earth's greatest scientist, Project Shockwave. By the time it was completed, it was too late. Humanity fell. And fell hard. <laughs> Captain Boyce, come in. This is General Roberts. What's your status? Boyce here. I'm half a click south of the 14th platoon. My transporter smashed. My pilot's dead. Get away from that wreck. It can blow any second. Good. I need you alive. Now head north and rendezvous with the 14th. Okay, this is not as I remember the Anomaly series. Targets at 1 o'clock. Concentrate your fire and light the bastard up! Oh yeah, this is Captain, what I mean. it's good to see you alive, sir. Boys, your men deserve some help. Stand by for activation of your repair ability. Alright, select a target. Good work. Now stand by for data regarding your combat suit abilities. The repair ability fixes all vehicles within its range, as well as heals the commander. Try to deploy the repair ability where the damaged units can remain in its range for the longest time possible. Thank you. You have to deploy abilities to support your units. To open an abilities menu, use the displayed key. The game so will pause. Holding the same key lets you select the destination for the ability while paused. The number of abilities at your disposal is displayed on the left of the screen. As a shortcut, you can deploy an ability on the commander's location using the displayed keys. Also, you can select the ability from the icons row on the left side of the screen, then place it in the desired location using the displayed key. So I complained about, I think it was AI War that I played a couple of weeks ago, that like the tutorial was just walls of text and like you had to read everything. This is a well-made tutorial where they are actually like talking and telling you what you need. Move down this road, Captain. The research station is up ahead. Remember to use your abilities. Without them, your men won't stand a chance. Eliminated. Well done. Shit. Go 
Five soldiers, we got a situation. Ambush. Think hands on our left and right flank. They're hiding between the cliffs. Assault hounds won't do a lick of good. All units, morph into Hellhound. Nice. That's right. Now engage. Pretty sure that the other games you just like you didn't have a NPC. You had the same basic abilities, but you would just like drop them. Hey, where's our backup? Shit. We're taking serious damage. We're hit. Oh, sorry, dudes. Hi. Enemy machine down. Got one. Time to chase the Gatling. Welcome to hell. Enemy machine down. Target neutralized. Xander was right. 
Initiating transmission to Xander's research base. Manhattan, you read me? Loud and clear, Captain. It's a new day for humanity. I'm downloading your transmission. Whoa! What the hell? We got trouble! We got tin cans north of here. Coming in fast. Boys, you must complete the transmission no matter what. All units, hold your position and wait for your captain. Yes, sir. Attack! Suit for Captain Poise. He died for the cause. How can you go faster? We are survivors of the war. Banded together in huge convoys, we search the frozen tundra for food and supplies. My convoy is called Yukon. I started training with a simulator to get the hang of the combat suit, the greatest military toy since gunpowder. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 4,213 miles north of the anomaly. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, this is Colonel Ellen Bolt, commander of Convoy Yukon. I'll be the one who's training you. I need you to be in full command of the special mission unit. But this is what I remember. Let's get started, Lynx. This is your tactical map. On it and only on it, you can choose your squad's path. You start here, near the three training towers. You can change your squad's route on each crossroad. To do that, just click on an arrow until it turns the way you need. Now plan a route that leads you to the safe zone. There are two ways to plan a route for your squad in tactical view. Left-click arrows on crossroads to change the path for the squad. Left-click an empty crossroad to set a path to it. Good. The simulation starts now. These are the Assault Hounds, the pride of the convoy. Assault Hounds start with a slow fire rate and minor damage capability. But if they keep firing, their rate of fire increases. To inflict more damage, keep your squad firing. The round indicator over the Assault Hound displays its firepower. This is the Tekkenau. The Assault Hound has considerable firepower and good range. Its rate of fire increases when firing and reaches maximum power after 12 seconds. Its cannons cool down quickly though, so you should constantly keep enemies. 
I guess I would need to pick Keep alert, the situation changed. Now the towers are hiding between buildings on both sides of the road. I strongly suggest you morph your squad into hellhounds. I don't get why it's like it's a second tutorial. This is the Hellhound, designed for urban warfare. It's equipped with two independent flamethrowers. There you have it. Hellhounds are at the... Designed for urban warfare, the Hellhound is heavily armored and equipped with two independent flamethrowers with a high rate of fire. The flamethrowers can set towers on fire and give additional damage as they burn. Flamethrowers get more effective over time. Ignore the tremors. We're catching some heat out here in the real world, but we got it covered. Focus on your training. You're coming up to a fork in the road. Which route the squad takes is all up to you. You can change your squad's path now. All right, so if I want more rate of fire, I'll get all these. I don't have double towers, so I could stay in. Remember, you can morph your units into different forms. Although you may want to destroy all the towers, it's not as of your mission. Ah! Ah! Holy shit. No! I, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. God damn it. So close. Good job. This part of your <laughs> I lost one by my own mistake. We received a distress signal coming from New York. The signal was sent by Dr. Xander, a scientist in possession of Project Shockwave. Yukon's on a direct route to the Big Apple, and I'm still in the simulator. There's no saying how much time is left for training. First loot. This is Karasarum. It's a rare element that we use to buy and upgrade combat units. Yeah. Karasarum is our main resource for producing and upgrading units. You can discover it on the ground or receive it when you destroy an enemy tower. We also mastered the ability to recycle it from our own units. It's in your best interest to pick up as much Karasarum as you can. To do that, you need to set up your squad first. Purchase two Assault Hound units. Bear in mind, you can always gain Karasarum by selling units.
Now advance. One more thing, Lieutenant. Here's how you change formations. Good. Begin collecting Karosarum. When they're behind building, I should switch because these guys can't target it. We just got through a firefight. Enemy was neutralized with a simulator. You can use Karasarum to improve your unit's armor, firepower, and more. Strain. Now head for the exit, Lynx. So... Here... much damage I failed there. My bad. So if I go back Sorry, I'm I, can't, I can't go to firepower the and more. Try it now. Now head for the exit, Lynx. stayed in tank mode. Good job, Lynx. Now you know how to secure necessary resources. Time is running out and new you yeah. normal combat suits like a second skin to me now, but I still have some time to hone my skills in the safety of the simulator. Outside, the uh, never-ending like winter it. pounds us harder than ever. The machines hoped it would kill us off, but we refuse to die. Every day brings us closer to New York, to Xander, to Project Shockwave, to our revenge. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,592 miles north of the anomaly. Like, I'm a big fan of um, tower defense games. And I say the toughest part of, of your training for last. To get to the safe zone, you'll have to break through the towers called behemoths. 
The behemoth is a slow, heavily armored tower that wreaks havoc across a wide area. Basically, your worst nightmare. Here's important data on the enemy machine. This heavily armored tower attacks with powerful shock pulses that can damage several units within a certain range. The behemoth's only weakness is its sluggishness. There's a trick that could save your skin when you run into the behemoth. We'll get to that later. Now configure your squad. Good. Let's get cracking. The trick I told you about before is called the decoy. It draws enemy fire to its... Decoy ability is online. Now use it on the behemoth. Remember to deploy it as far as you can from the troops. When that behemoth lets loose its shockwave, you don't want to be close to it. Not bad. Now attack. Here's the tech analysis on the decoy. The decoy ability draws fire from towers within a certain range. It will continue until it discharges or is destroyed. I guess I can go around get more of these upgrades. Oh shit, no. God damn it again. Enemy fire. This is a nice effect. Link, right there. when I start a tutorial, I aim to complete it. Focus on your training.
go here. Yes. Is this? Yeah, I can. Maybe I can just put a decoy so they don't attack. And they would need to yeah. but... The end of your training is coming. VR is overrated. That was neat. Alright, I'm gonna go grab just a coffee, I'll be right back. The machines ambushed convoy Yukon on the outskirts of New York. I was pulled from the burning wreck of the training vehicle at the last moment. No more simulations. Time to get even. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,594 miles north of the anomaly. Welcome to the real world, Lynx. Hostiles have taken the highway and ambushed Yukon. There's no doubt Dr. Xander is waiting for us, but we got our own problems to solve first. Here are the tactical outlines of our situation. The convoy's pinned down just outside the city. Links, eliminate the enemy, all of them. First, reach our recon squad under the command of Sergeant Campton. He may have a solution to our problem. They're here. Ready for battle, sir. Backup is here. Lieutenant, I sent you some artillery for this one. A sledgehammer unit. <laughs> They're the best weapons for these conditions. They have long range yeah, cannons, so they work best firing across. But there's a downside. They can only fire straight ahead. Oh. Use them wisely, Lieutenant. Give them an enemy at 12 o'clock and let them do the rest. Here's a tech analysis of the vehicle. The sledgehammer can fire over long distances, but its inability to rotate its cannons more than 30 degrees to either side renders it almost defenseless in close combat. The unit compensates for its low armor and low rate of fire with its excellent range. Sir, Sergeant Clint Campton, recon team. Basically got our asses handed to us, sir. We got unidentified structures ahead of us and towers popping out of the ground faster than an Alabama hedgehog. Tin cans are breeding like jackrabbits up there, sir. Take one down and two more take its place. God At damn least they're all there. spawning on the road. I say nuke it all to hell. Towers, structures, the whole goddamn kit and caboodle. Back during the war, 7th Armored Division set up its last line of defense there. 
tin cans and ripped them apart. But luckily, they left their weapons. We discovered some devastators. Big suckers. Rocket launcher heaven, I'm telling you. If we can get them started, we can turn them on those tin cans and wipe them off the map. You know what to do, Lynx. Lock and load. All threats eliminated. That's awesome. Curse on collected. Taking it down. All right. We're getting busted up here. Two head fire. <laughs> Oh, these are behind the... Sledgehammer cannon is a long-range weapon. It needs open terrain to fire. However, like the Hounds, the Sledgehammer has an alt model for urban fighting, the Rocket Hammer. I strongly recommend you try this one out. This is the tech analysis of the vehicle. Unlike the Sledgehammer, the Rocket Hammer is designed for close combat. The unit compensates for its low armor and low rate of fire with sturdy firepower damage, and unlike its twin brother, it can attack in a full circle. Yeah, it's really well made. You're about to smack straight into a machine, Lynx. Change your route to move up the highway. Hurry! God damn it. Now this is a gun. We got it! I'll shove this rocket up your tin can ass! You just can shoot it. Can it? Sustaining heavy damage! Oh shit. Rockets locked and loaded! Zone clear! Good job, boys! We got them all! Well done! Oh, I, oh wow, I don't have any repairs. God damn it. 
Outstanding, sir. Target neutralized. Hammer time! We got them all! That's awesome. We kicked some butt! Good job, boys! Now this is a gun. All threats eliminated. Oh, I don't have it. That's awesome. Rockets locked and loaded. Long-range weapons, so plan your route accordingly. Yeah, uh, after I'm, I cross this part, or maybe it's gonna. No, maybe it's gonna. Okay. Going. Hammer. Hammer time. Enemy unit killed! 
Outstanding, sir. I'll shove this rocket up your tin can ass. Rocket's red glare. All threats eliminated. Right. Last one. Now this is a gun. We need support now. Area secured. That's awesome. Zone clear. Mm -hmm. Area secure. We got ourselves some devastators. Let's hope they left the key in the ignition. Ha! <laughs> it's working! Open wide, you scum! Bolt. The road is clear. Convoy moving out. Good work, Lynx. Good night, June Man. It's gonna be it for this game. Switch my last one of the night. game of the night is going to be Astro. Try it out. Load the controller on this one. Sweet. what I have to do.
Oh no. Okay, so I need to survive a certain there's a time rig. Yeah. Then what's the difference between different attack? No. Oh. Seven seconds. I don't need to start over. I'm not sure I'd like this. This is not my type of game. It's not even like color really.
Okay, this is that fun. I'm not playing an hour of this, guys. Sorry. But no. Okay. Thank you for joining. That was fun.